This is the post game show. It's a happy one presented by the Maroon Club. Every gift matters every year. Join the Maroon Club today. Lafayette goes to five and two. Coach Tavani goes to 71 and 71 in his career. And the Lafayette Leopards, more importantly, are 2 0 oh in the Patriot League. Mike's going to take you through the game highlights. Some happy highlights today, and Lafayette kind of you know, struggled a little bit early, but some key plays going to Mark Ross, and Mark Ross was targeted almost 18 times today. Here's the big one, kind of set up that first touchdown. This is a 40-plus yarder to Mark Ross, and then we're going to see Andrew Shoup take it in from 10 yards out as he gets to the corner and then hits the pylon with the football. And then we're going to see you know, Holy Cross come back here. Ball tipped up in the air by Marshallak, attacked by Darius Safford, led to the field goal, which got Lafayette up to that 9-0 lead. Then in the second half, you know, Lafayette pitching a shutout from there. They get the football back into Ross's hands and shoot. Just unstoppable there with the back shoulder fade. And Holy Cross showing a little bit of life, coming back. Tight end, man-to-man -man coverage right there. Broke a tackle at the 5, cuts it to 16-6, to six, and then some play action here. And this was a huge play down the middle of the field. We've been trying to get that tight end involved. Brandon Hall not only gets interfered with, but he's going to make the catch. And Lafayette again going down on kickoff. Got to have good kickoff coverage here. You think maybe the ball hit the ground and everybody kind of held their breath a little bit here. And then going to take it all the way down the field for the touchdown. That's... Uh, Chris Jackson, I think, or excuse me, Khalif Raymond, he's going to go in for the touchdown and get that 10-point lead back. Holy Cross here, the biggest play of the game. Mike Bowles dropping into his coverage, gets the ball down to the one-yard line, tackled by Fess, and then a great statement run right there by Vaughn Hebron to get that lead back to 30-13. to And Lafayette with the victory today. That means Coach Tavani is down on the field with John Leon. We also have our Coca-Cola players of the game. Here's John. Thanks, Gary. Thanks, Michael. Coach, uh, a win is a win, but a Patriot League win on homecoming weekend is even better. Well, certainly proud of our effort. You know, it's been a while since we've been able to catch them. We've had plenty of opportunity, but bottom line was a lot of people wanted to talk about the four in a row, all that. We are just worried about 2012. And again, we don't like to make it easy. We want to keep people here and keep it exciting. But we battled as we've been doing down the last very bitter end and uh, nothing like having our defense on the field making that last pick. The defense was outstanding. And then the offense, the, the defense actually gave the offense a chance to get on track. And after a, a first half that was, you know, had its ups and downs, other than that kickoff return that was about as cleanly played a second half as maybe you guys have had all year long well no doubt about it they're going to be looking at the film I told you but they tackled one of our guys now and it's going in to make the play but hey credit them fighting to the end as well did a great job their kids played hard as they always do coach in front of a great crowd at homecoming a great performance by the leopards use the momentum let's get Georgetown next weekend let's just keep it going enjoy this today and on to the next game tomorrow. You got it, Coach. Thanks very much. Congratulations. Let's turn uh, our attention to Andrew Shoup, the trigger man of this uh, resurgent offense. Andrew, the thing I got to tell you, I got to ask you about, the long drive to the touchdown starts off with a false start, and then you let the play clock run down. I look at you and Coach Tavani, and he's ready to absolutely kill you. Three plays later, you, you got the team in the end zone. Right. Uh, well, you know, that's that's stuff that, you know, we got to eliminate as an offense. You know, we, we've we've been shooting ourselves in the foot, you know, way too much. Coach Tavani has been preaching that to us over and over and over again. And, you know, yeah, you know, we, we tend to get at each other a little bit, but that's it's, it's just nothing but a loving relationship between the two of us at this point. Um, you know, he, he just wants things done the right way. So, you know, it was it was a rough start, but it was good to bounce back and, and make a couple big plays and, you know, punch one in. If anyone ever doubted the relationship between you and Coach, <laughs> I, I, I use that as Exhibit A. You know, Andrew, talk a little bit about the run game, too, because, you know, the offense has been a little inconsistent. You've had some terrific uh, uh, games personally, especially with uh, Mark Ross, but today it seemed like the running game was there to support you. Right. You know, our running game has definitely been uh, a little bit, you know, back and forth here for us this year, but it was good to get a, a jump up front today and, and get those guys getting pushes and, and having our backs make it, make it good, tough, strong runs and you know the fact of the matter is, is we finished today you know that's the biggest thing we have to do as an offense on every single drive and you know we finished and, and we got the, the well earned and, and well well weighted victory you got it Andrew good luck next week against Georgetown thanks for your time let's turn our attention to Rick Lister the defensive lineman and Rick six sacks today the defensive secondary has been a, a lot of attention given to them but you guys up front got the job done today yeah well, you know we just we just played hard played for each other and you know 
with our defense backs being so good, we knew we were going to have time to get to the uh, get pressure on the quarterback. And, you know, it just worked out in our favor today. So Real quickly, there was an electricity on the sideline. Is it the fact that you're in the heart of the Patriot League season, the Holy Cross recent experience? Tell us uh, what that atmosphere was like on the sideline. I think it was a combination of both. I mean, all, all offseason stuff and all season, we're talking about Patriot League Championship. That's been our main goal. You know, after beating Bucknell, we knew we were going to be 1-0 in the uh, league for a month. And now this is the uh, like the next league game. And we knew this is all we were focused on. And, you know, we just we said, you know, win this and we get another piece. So, you know. good, good, well said, uh, Rick. Listen, good luck next week. Get number three against Georgetown. Thank you. Thank you very much. You got it. Gary Michael, a great day at homecoming here at Fisher Stadium. Back to you guys. And you said it so well, John. Rick representing that defensive line today. Six sacks in the ball game. And Andrew Shoup, his number is spectacular. 20 for 28. No interceptions. 235 yards and a couple of touchdowns, and he rushed for 21 yards in this game. Mark Ross, 12 catches, 168 yards, and a touchdown, and the Leopards come up with interceptions number 16 and 17, and they will continue to lead the nation in that department. So my thanks to Mike Joseph, to John Leone, John Bowman, and to Rick Gio on the RCN television team, and to all of you for spending time with us. We'll see you next Saturday. That's a 6 o'clock start. Georgetown on Family Weekend. For all of us, thanks for watching. The Leopards win it 30-13. I'm Gary Laubach. Goodbye, everybody.